Go. Hi, class. I'm Anand Dikai. And today on my first presentation, my topic is start the day right. Uh, don't skip breakfast because it's the most important meal of the whole day. So, so I'm, I'm sure everybody has heard that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, right? <coughs> so there are various reasons why it's so important. Uh, uh, so when you talk about reasons, uh, one of the first reasons is our body needs energy. So when we start, when we sleep, we are kind of starved because metabolism goes down. So if you guys eat late night dinner, heavy food, food stays in the stomach like two to four hours. So after that, then it starts the process of digestion. So once your metabolism is slow, then whatever energy the food gives uh, goes to your adipose tissue, and adipose tissue are just below the uh, skin. That's where the body uh, stores fat for the future is used for starvation. But, uh, so when you sleep, what happens is your blood glucose level goes down. So when you wake up in the morning, now your, your digestive system is ready for the day. It's, uh, it's, I mean, because it, 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 it was in rest in the night time, like at six to seven hours, you know, five to six hours after you slept, it totally shuts down. So, so once you eat heavy, heavy breakfast, means balanced breakfast, what happens is your body starts to digest it then and there. So once it starts to uh, digest then and there, because your glucose level in the blood is down, so it needs some glucose, it needs some sugar or sucrose. So then, once the energy is uh, liberated, then we get we get chance to use that right away. That means none of the uh, stuff can stay on your skin or on different parts. So, so that's a biological reason. <laughs> and uh, why we should eat uh, regular breakfast is one is energy level, and next is concentration, and the next is mood. Even uh, so, when you don't eat breakfast, what happens is uh, you end up eating more uh, snacks uh, in between your lunch and breakfast time. Because your body needs energy in order to compensate that need, you end up eating something else. So, in normal practice, in normal life also, you can see that, I feel that. When I have a heavy breakfast, I don't feel hungry all day. Only I might feel hungry like 4 o'clock or like 5 o'clock. So, but if I, the day I skip my breakfast, I like to eat food. My body needs sugar or salt or something all day. You know, I'm constantly hungry, and I'm more hungry for the dinner time. So, once you eat a uh, heavy dinner, then I mean it's good, but unless you can burn it. But once you sleep, you cannot burn it. You cannot burn the energy that uh, you get from the dinner. So, it and it stays on uh, below your skin. So scientific evidence found that children who eat nutritious uh, breakfast tend to have higher grades in school. They have better concentration, alertness, more energy, and can retain knowledge faster and think more clearly to uh, outperform non-breakfast eaters. <laughs> and next thing is, if you are struggling with uh, weight problems, skipping bre breakfast may appear like a smart way to cut calories intake and prevent overeating. But do you realize uh, that the very opposite is true? Research actually shows that people who eat a healthy breakfast are less likely to become overweight. So the ideal breakfast should be exceptional, exceptional in quality with all nutrients that the body needs for the uh, day, including vitamins, minerals, trace minerals, essential fats, enzymes, antioxidants, essential amino acids, uh, probiotics, brain food, fiber, Cardio cardiovascular protector, immune boosters, and bone builders. <coughs> so, uh, one of the things that we should remember is caffeine from coffee can mask our hunger. So once you drink a lot of coffee, you might not feel hungry for a long time. Uh, so, again, uh, if you don't feel hungry, that means that uh, your digestive system is still working, but your enzymes are not working because uh, hunger is uh, stimulated by brain. So, I mean, it's, it doesn't mean that your body is not starving. Of course it is. Only it's just you are not feeling hungry. And that's the unhealthy lifestyle anyway. So, <laughs> let, let me tell you uh, some work related uh, effects of not eating a healthy breakfast. 
their tiredness or like, uh, likelihood of experiencing fatigue uh, early in the day, inability to focus on tasks, decreased alertness throughout the day, less memory capacity, higher chance of irritability and restlessness. And some health-related effects of not eating uh, a healthy breakfast are greater chance of weight gain due to unhealthy snacking, higher risk of uh, developing diabetes, increased possibility of high cholesterol, higher potential um, for high blood pressure. And all of these health uh, issues, they're all related. Diabetes, cholesterol, and blood pressure, and obesity, all of them are totally uh, related with one another. And so not only because of not eating breakfast, but having one healthy lifestyle. And the way we can have a healthy lifestyle is don't skip the breakfast if you can. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Nice work. Ariella.